Set up the load. What are you doing? Oh, I, I just found these. Anything crucial in there? Well, yeah, actually, uh, my lucky socks. I have a game for you. Okay, Mom? Sure. Go to sleep. Night. Night. Hi, Chef. Hi. Blaze's unit was just called to a disturbance down on Turner. I just heard. I didn't know Frank was on duty tonight. Yeah, uh, the special investigation unit's got to work in 24 hours a day. Look, don't worry. 1033 is usually drunks. I hope so. Officer needs assistance. Corner Turner and 32 Street. Go on for backup. Now it's on robbery. Unit SP3, we copy. Back up on the way. We copy on the 1048. SP3? Juveniles identified as Maria Lopez and Pilar Romano. That's, reported missing by that's Frank's new unit. Request 10, He's the one who called for backup. Caller Police Department. Uh, hi. This is Laura Dietz. Hi, Laura. Joyce, I'm a little concerned about what I'm hearing over the radio. Have you been monitoring our transmissions? Yeah. What for? Do you want indigestion? Joyce, what's going on? Is anyone in trouble? Honey, I really couldn't tell you. Then put me through to communications. You know I can't do that. Laura, I know how you feel. Okay, hold on. Shots were fired, corner 33 and Turner. Confirm shots were fired. Unit 50, request you arrive south on Euclid. Suspects proceeding along 33. Be aware there are members of the force in civilian clothes at location. <sighs> this game will be nice. Not going to be. Not too annoying. Uh, Laura, the 10-4 Your unit SP-3 and unit 43, we copy. Paramedics on their way. Request clear park avenue from 3930 Street. Any unit, 1031, family disturbance reported by a neighbor at 4405 North 30. Husband and wife in backyard, possible assault. 1030, special check at 411. How bad is it? They're safe. Joyce got through for me. Some turkey they had under surveillance fired shots at another turkey. One was wounded. Our guys are fine. Well, tonight's a five milligram night. I thought for a moment there it was going to be a tenner. You're doing too much of that, you know. And you're too good. You know there is such a thing. Good night. Sleep well. Takes a special man to get through the academy. It's true. Cops are brighter and better looking than the average guy. Come on, girls. Don't you feel that way about your husband? He puts that uniform on. He takes that uniform off. <laughs> <laughs> so the lady he's giving a ticket to happens to feel the same way. I think that's flattering to him and to me. I'm not going to get upset about it. When I find her phone number in the ticket book, then I'm upset. <laughs> Your husbands are rookies. But soon you're going to find that you married the job along with the guy. You married the shift work, the holidays that are ruined because he's pulled special duty, <clears throat> the stress he brings home from the job. And of course, there's the fear. 
fact of life. Well, what are you going to do? Sit back and say, I can't? Or sit up and say, how can I? And I will. There are two things I never take off. My wedding ring and my husband's badge. I wear it with pride. It also helps me get off speeding tickets. <laughs> <laughs> the department has a psychologist who's available to you for any problems or questions. Remember, the key is communication. No, tell us some things. Something you never get used to. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for the presentation. I'm glad you came. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Oh, Frank! Laura. What's going on? Andrew DiCarlo. Take it easy here. Just a second. Did anyone read Mr. DiCarlo with Miranda Wright? Who? Which officer? I want to know. Take it easy. And he can't make any statements. I said we're going to book him, sir. On what evidence? You'll be given the necessary documentation under the right of disclosure at the appropriate time, Counselor. This is not the appropriate time. This man has a heart condition. He needs a physician immediately. Uh, Sergeant, call the county hospital. Have them send an ambulance over for Mr. DiCarlo. In the meantime, start processing the arrest warrant. Mr. DiCarlo. Mr. DiCarlo. Uh, you burn down your own nightclub or what's done for you by organized crime. When I was a small boy, my father told me, make money. Not wave. That's my philosophy. I'm a businessman. What about the two young dancers who burned again? What can I say? It's a terrible tragedy. My heart goes out to my parents. But you have served time previously for arson, have you not? I was 17 years old, and I was innocent. This is the second time that alleged mob kingpin Andrew DiCarlo faces a possible charge of murder. The, the last was in connection with the tortured death of Arizona mobster Ed Tracy, thought to be DiCarlo's main competition in a multi-million dollar drug deal. But that charge was dropped for lack of evidence. I'm Charles Turner at the Santa Carla City Hall. How'd your interview go? Good. Now you did great, I'm sure. Did you put in a good word for him with the lieutenant? I put in two. Promote him. Hey, we on for Tuesday. Officer Dice. Deets. Deets. Jim Osborne. Sir Carlo. Uh, were you involved in the DiCarlo arrest? No, sir. It was on an SIU officer you were talking to. Mr. Clifford, I think this gentleman would like some assistance. Yeah. Can I help you, Joe? Yeah, Clifford. Our uh, biggest boss is Joe Bonanno. How'd the undercover operator do that? Well, well, our special investigations unit received a call to a 1039, which means a major crime in progress. 39. I wasn't at 1039. Lousy 1070. Prior follow up. Oh, public relations. Mm -hmm. Never sound like Custer's last stand. What you got there, Deets? A 702? Hey, Richie, watch your mouth. <laughs> Rookie. I know what that means. Yeah? Mm. Bet you do. <laughs> How was your class? What class is fine? Yeah. Oh, oh, come on, Snake. How are we gonna win like that? I'll be there. Good hands, man. He's got the moves. He's got that. He doesn't have the legs he used to. <laughs> when are you gonna hear? Huh? Next couple of days, Pop. Hey, you didn't tell him about the special investigation unit's rights to initiation, did you? You mean about the goat? So this grief, this grief is suing Evelyn Manelli's husband for five million dollars. Use of excessive force? Frank's been sued three times. This guy who assaulted 14 women is out on bail. Only 12? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now he has a thing against the police department. Evelyn says he's got pictures of her kids. He knows where they go to school. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Tell me something. All you guys in the SIU are so slick. How come DiCarlo got off? I thought you had him nailed. I see him strolling out of the station, thought I was seeing a ghost. These organized crime fellas have very good lawyers. Mm. I'll say. I heard you had phone taps. You set his place on fire with a time delay. That was the rumor, anyway. Look what Jimbo. Blaze, the call was number one priority case. We can't talk about it. How does it look? That looks great. Come on. They should have taken that creep out. Oh, Sherry. No, really. 
Look what Elvin has to live with. Sherry. Sherry, over here. Her master's voice. What are these? Well, another hamburger roll. They're not hamburger rolls. They're genuine French demi baguettes. I bought them at Norton's. I, thought I told you not to go to Norton's. They got a purse snatcher there. Frank, the rolls are fine. Excuse me. Go to the market. Give me some regular American hamburger buns, huh? And uh, a couple of six packs. No problem. Be right there. sanctuary because the church is a holy place and separate from the state. And the people who seek refuge here are protected by a higher set of laws. So the family will live in the church? Mm -hmm. 24 hours a day. You see, if they go out, they could be grabbed by the immigration people and deported. Oh. Mr. Cepeda was a professor at the university in El Salvador, and uh, he was arrested and tortured and killed. And if the INS sends his family back, they could be killed, too. It was a lot more crowded when we had the boat people, six families then, but at least they didn't have to stay cooped up in the church like this. Don't be afraid. We're here to help you. Sam, give me a deal. SIU is interested in Laura. Laura? My wife, Laura. No, your wife, Harry. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> You're not serious. Was she active in student demonstrations in the 60s? Did she sell or use illegal substances? Hey, man, you're talking about a woman who thinks salt is a drug. They're not going to let you in as long as she's under suspicion. Suspicion of what? I honestly don't know why they're watching her. Watching her? <laughs> they got a confidential file on her. I shouldn't have told you that. No, no, I'm glad you did. I just, uh... I don't get it. What must Laura do all day? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on her. Maybe you should. I want to see that file. I can't do it. The movie, no 
tell me what's going on. You know, we were partners for a lot of years, Frank. Catch you later. Yeah. Personality conflict. What does that mean? You know, now you sound like him. Honey, I'm sorry. Thank you. Everyone has their own problems, Ed. 
Can't worry about yours. Legs must be on pins and needles waiting to hear about that special investigation unit, huh? Just that unit exactly. Well, the way I understand it, the crack intelligence team. Uh, it works independent of the department. No bureaucracy, they're in everything. They're in a political stuff, terrorists, organized crime. The place is going to be a good man. He didn't make it, Ed. Why not? Department politics, I guess. Nothing changes. They're making a mistake. Units, officers entering delivery in progress to rear. Caution, suspects probably armed. Hey, if we didn't know Mr. DeCarlo, would you be here? Mm -hmm. That man told us that you could give us a good deal on his firearms. The machine guns. An amphibious. Oh, he said anything to me about the machine guns. I'm going to call him. Get the hell out of here. Got any Revolution, that stuff. Thanks a lot. You saved our butts. 
Yeah, what would you guys do without me? Listen, I gotta talk to you. I had a friend look at Laura's file. He told me the problem. Yeah? It's a church. A church? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't believe it. Everybody's in on this one. CIA, FBI, immigration, border patrol, you name it. They're all monitoring Central American refugees so they can send them back. We're just uh, working on the local level. The Special Investigations Unit is spying on the United Presbyterian Church? That's about it. Just means you're on a list. Your department has me on a list? You and the Reverend What's-His-Name and some other people on that committee. The service committee? You mean Harriet Wade and Joni Parker and those types? The straightest do-gooders in the world? Oh, my God. Did they spy on our candy drive, too? Okay, give me a break. Now, what do I know? about politics in Latin America. We're just giving a refugee family a place to sleep, some cheese and beans. What's so wrong with that? I don't know. I'm sure there are a lot of families in this country who could use some help. <clears throat> I mean, nothing's wrong with it. The point is, as long as you're on that committee, my chances of getting any kind of promotion are like nil. I mean, isn't there some other kind of volunteer work you can do, sweetie? Well, of course there is. Okay, I'll find something else. Good. Thank you. I think the whole thing is silly, but you're welcome. The street fair is the 26th, don't forget. I'll get the permit. How long will we be gone? Uh, well, it's a three-day conference, but I may go on to St. Louis. You know, we're going to miss you on the service committee. I, quit. I have to. It's my husband's job. Hey. Does it bother you that the police are spying on this church? Sure it does. They're violating our civil rights. But right now, I'm more concerned with protecting the Cepeda family. Are we doing anything illegal? Technically, the INS could raid the church. But so far, they seem to respect the idea of sanctuary. Frankly, I think they've got bigger fish to fry. What's so wrong about what we're doing? Suppose we're associated with a movement that the government doesn't like. I don't know what to do. You want some scriptural authority? Yeah. Okay. And Jesus said, whatsoever you do to the least of these, my brethren, you do it to me. When we care for each other, we care for God. What about caring for our husbands? What about caring for ourselves? No se vaya de la iglesia. Vuelvo en una semana. Eli Palmieri. Hey, oh. don't try to deny it. I'll just make it worse, okay? Please. It was five years ago. Yeah? Somehow that doesn't make any better, sweetie. Look, let me explain when it happened. It was right after you had the thing with the bank teller. Huh? 
Come on, that was nothing. That was just a, just one little I thing. I know what it was, so I went out and had mine. I didn't think you were that kind of person, Laura. I'm not I never that thought you'd lie to me. Person, and I didn't lie. Yes, you did. You lied by omission, Shh. by not telling me. Mr. Nice Guy, huh? Mr. Green, who started the whole thing. Okay. Never mind. After five years, a pretty good marriage. But there wasn't anybody. It was your file. Yes, are you far? I told Frank you were quitting the church group. I told him to go back, look at the file, make sure the records were clean. Well, it turned out it wasn't. This is private. Not anymore. It's this is private. terribly private. This yeah. is not a church group or a politics. This is a person's life. Of all people, you gotta pick a cop. I mean, I swear, if he had me transferred to where he is, I'd blow his head off right now. I would. It happened. It's over. Frank had no right to that information. And he had no right to tell you. He told me because he's my friend. Had no right. Hey, where you going? I didn't think you were that kind of person, Laura. Cops are, they're wacko. Don't you know that by now? Hmm? Did I ever tell you <clears throat> that, uh, Frank showers four times a day. Where did you find all those bathrooms? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but the man is clean. That's one good thing about him. It's probably the only good thing. You guys have been through hell. Well, he blames me, of course, you know? He certainly couldn't blame himself. Ooh, wait a minute. We're supposed to be watching the news. What time is it? You know, on top of everything else, they told him some guy from narcotics got the job in SIU. Oh, look. Frank said there were going to be a lot of reporters there because of the big bus they made. Please, in whatever slimy pig hole you may be at this moment, I hope you're as miserable as I am. Everything we've done in this case is legal. Chief. Uh, your department uh, has previously been under fire for keeping illegal dossiers on nonviolent individuals and groups. We were told to destroy those files, and they have been destroyed. Are you saying that the department no longer monitors political groups? I'm saying the police commission told us to destroy the files, and we did. We have to follow orders, just like everyone else. What do you think, Gilmore? It remains you think he's honest? I mean, do you think he'd lie? In public, on TV? Maybe. I don't know. What's he lying about? Those files weren't destroyed the way they were supposed to be. Yeah, well, I mean, they're about 10 years behind in their paperwork. Do you want another drink? No. Get in last night. Don't ask. Look, I'm sorry I yelled at you in the store. I was very upset. And I'm sorry if I kept you up last night. Well, I was tossing attorneys as much as you were. But shouldn't we talk about this? I think so. As long as it's out in the open, why it's don't we talk? Not exactly out in the open. I'm sure everyone in the SIU knows about it. Let's just drop it, okay? Okay, sure. Why not? Let's pretend. Nothing's wrong. That's how the department operates. Right. Last night on TV, Chief Gilmore said that all intelligence files on civilian groups have been destroyed. That's in the paper, too. Yeah, I heard about it. Obviously, the department is still keeping files. Frank told you that himself. So what are you saying? Ask some questions. I'm sure they know what they're doing in SIU. Someone's lying over there. Cost you your promotion. That's not what cost me my promotion, sweetie. Is Jim Osborne? Ah, uh, yes, Dan. I'll be up. I wanted to ask you some questions about the article you wrote. 
about the police intelligence files? Uh, you mean today's piece? Yeah. I was wondering if, in your research, when you were doing the article, you found out exactly when those files were destroyed. Well, what did I say? Uh, here it is. Deathless prose. Uh, according to police chief Mark Gilmore, uh, all dossiers on civilian and nonviolent groups were put in the shredder last year. Last year. I love a good shredder story. You write about the police uh, a lot, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they even named a chair after me down at the cop shop. It's a blue number it sits next to the coffee machine. Anything you want to know about Santa Carla's finest? I know all about them, thank you. Do you? What do you know about these uh, surveillance files? Me? Nothing. Well, you know, uh, a lot of folks are pretty upset with our PD about these files. It's a long time ago, of course. Yeah, I, re I remember. I think I'd be pretty upset if I thought the cops were looking in on my little anti-new group or whatever. <laughs> it's not only that. It's regular churches now. It's not right. Churches, that's uh, news to me. Uh, what can you tell me about this? What's your name? If there's a slide projector to be had, you should have it. Thanks. When's your lecture? Day after tomorrow. They never let me know until the last minute. Well, would you mind if I get some water? Um, no, help yourself. So, is everybody pretty happy about the Big DiCarlo bus? All those machine guns? Nobody's ever happy about anything around here. They think the case is sick? Are you kidding? They'll never get to Carlo in jail. He's too hot. I'll put your name on it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was curious about the other surveillance files. Did they talk about the newspaper? Were those really thrown away? Ask the man who knows. Who's that? Lieutenant Clifford. He's right behind you. Very take care of this. problem with them? Yes, ma'am. Can I help you, Mrs. Deeds? Do you have me or the United Presbyterian Church under surveillance? I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. I just want you to understand. We're not doing anything, are we? That's fine. Whatever you say. All we do is Christian work. Yes, ma'am. Okay. As long as you guys get to ride around in your vans and listen in on it. I don't want to argue philosophy with you, Mrs. Gates. But our intelligence division is one of the best in the country, and there's a reason for that. Why don't you ask your husband? He'll explain it all to you. I don't have to ask him. You're lying. Those files were supposed to have been destroyed a year ago. If you have a citizen's complaint, you're welcome to talk to the public information officer. Would you like to do that? I can arrange it for you right now. No. Okay. No. Then maybe you'd best leave police business to the officers involved. Yeah. Oh, it's 
excuse me, um, ladies, we have another veteran wife here. Maybe she can tell us some of her experiences. Now, the next thing that you um, have to know about is uh, schedules. Just because your husband's a cop doesn't mean you have to stop it. Why you stay married to a cop so long? How? For one thing, Ed's not my friend. I'm his wife. But he doesn't let me inside to his cruel feelings. I didn't know. Oh, I've never felt so alone in my life. What is going on in the department? Politics? Yeah. See, Blaze doesn't understand how I feel. I believe that if he keeps going along with You'll get hurt. What they're doing isn't right. Talk to the chief. What? Otherwise, I've done it. Really? Yeah. He's a good man. A fair man. He can handle it. That's where he's chief. I've been giving a lecture to the new wives for six years. Suddenly, I was dismissed. Is dismissed the right way to put it? I think so. You see, I happen to know that the Special Investigations Unit is spying on church... All this are you operations are classified. It's an group. You don't keep files on non-terrorist organizations. I spoke to Lieutenant Clifford about it. Rusty Stonewall. Next thing I knew, Shari Mitchell was giving the lecture. Clifford has my confidence. And he has ultimate responsibility for his unit. Perhaps you should speak to Lieutenant Clifford again. You mean you don't even know what's going on in the SIU? Even though you said on TV that those files were destroyed last year. Mrs. Dietz. This is the operations manual. It explains why to be effective an intelligence unit must remain independent. If I can let you read this, you'd understand. The SIU is breaking the law. Well, let's keep something very clear here. I don't approve of breaking the law to uphold the law. Then why is the SIU still keeping an active file on me? Why do they have type? personal information that no one has a right to. Oh, it's I know, because it's destroying my marriage. Why didn't you say so before? Police marriage is under constant stress. will come to me in confidence. We'll try to work things out. Yes? If a wife tells me that her husband has been dallying, I'll transfer him away from the problem, you understand?
Are you trailing a suspect as an arm? Not true, Ralph. <laughs> Here's the thing. As long as the turkey doesn't expect to be followed, you can pull up to a light and wave, and he wouldn't know. <laughs> Say so, Keith. I don't know about it. Excuse me. Uh, see what we have to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> My dad? I thought you'd use a drink. I think I could. That wasn't the table I requested. They moved our seats. Well, you keep making trouble, they're going to move me right out of the division. There. Are we strangers? What? Why are you two sitting on in Siberia, huh? Join us? Our table's pretty lively, really. Uh, uh, Ralph Haley is telling us all about how he trails suspects. He must be drunk. Let's just say he's happy. You mean he's drunk? Let's face it. The man's a drunk. I like your dress. You were with me when I bought it. Traffic. Where are they going to sit? The table's full. Right. Oh, it's work here, which I'm sure you're probably sadly ignorant of. A rat on a partner. I know that. Gee, if you didn't bother to tell me about it. You said it would be a cop. You know what it looks like to Frank and Ramos and the rest of the guys in SIU? Well, there's your friend, the chief. Looks like you blew the whistle on him. And now I'm taking the heat. See, that's what's happening. I'm the one who went to see him. Yeah, right. You know what they call me now? I'll give you a little hint. It has to do when your wife has more hormones than you do. Just give me a minute and we'll get out Please. They called me last minute. You know, I didn't... I didn't realize that you were replacing you. It wasn't my fault. I don't know if I'm going crazy or everybody else is. I don't even know what's real anymore. They don't want you to. It was that way when Kevin died. Did you know they weren't even going to tell me? Who did they not tell you? No. That it was drugs. Then my son died of an overdose of heroin. Frank and the others were, were making up a story, something about a gang or something. Why? For my own good. They didn't think that I could deal with the truth. They didn't think that I could take it. That I deserved the dignity of the truth. So they were going to lie to me. Laura, you're right. The vials were... I heard Frank talking to Jim Ramos on the phone. Where are they kept? I don't know that. You're not the one who's crazy. No, no, no. Just tell Mrs. Mitchell that I call. Thank you.
Uh, yes, is uh, Frank Mitchell on duty, please? This is Laura Dietz. I'm the wife. Yeah, I know. I need to talk to Frank. It's very important. Fine. I'll find him myself. We copy. Over. Unit 31 responding to a 19050 automobile accident. Soto and Alvaron. 1042 malicious mischief in the Pine Valley Shopping Center. Unit 29 responding. Unit SP3, what is your location? In port? Unit SP3. Jim have stolen illegal files and they're hiding them in Jim's garage. You know, I think you're getting a little dippy. You know, you could have gotten your head blown off. Why would they remove files from the police station if nothing was going on? Come on, how do you know they were even files? Because I recognized them from the equipment room. Oh, you looked inside? No. You know, I'd hate to be your lawyer, I tell you that. Why? Because you don't have a case. You don't know what was in those files. They could be records of the... Police League baseball team, for all you know. Why would they be hiding them in the middle of the night? So the Phoenix Blues don't get our starting lineup. How the hell do I know? And I also know because Sherry told me that those files weren't destroyed. Uh-huh. Hearsay testimony. Sorry. Case dismissed, Mrs. Deeks. I love it. You guys close ranks no matter what, don't you? Talk about loyalty. You care more about them than me. Ah, oh, come on. Now I get it. You're just jealous, that's it. I just figured it out. Of what? The other guys. The time I spend away from home with the guys. I've been living with it for 14 years. Yeah, now you're suddenly tired of it. You want to start stirring up the pot. Well, I got news for you, sweetie. I'm just as sick of it as you are. Oh, no. Oh, you're not going to pull this again, are you? Look, what if I had evidence? What if I could prove that I'm right and the department is wrong? Would that change anything? I don't think I want to hear this. Thank you. Look, I'm going to crash you at Bob Raymore's place. This is his number. Just got to get out of here for a while. I want to get some air. Please don't do this. I think you should be aware of Mr. Osborne. I'd like to. 
like to help you, but uh, you'll have to give me a little more. I'm just saying maybe you ought to do some digging. Uh, look, uh, they love me down at the PD, but that doesn't make them open up the files. So, uh, frankly, I can't sell this to my editor unless I have some proof. What kind of proof? Well, uh, photostats of these alleged files would be right on the money, but we could start with something easy. Uh, what's your name? I think that she's got to be somebody close to the police department. <clears throat> See, uh, everybody's clammed up over there with DiCarlo out of bail. Someone who works there? Maybe a vendetta? Yeah, well, maybe somebody lost their job. Social protest group. You mean uh, one of those groups they were spying on last year? She mentioned something about a church now. I don't have to tell you, we don't have a store. Get more out of her, Jim. Use your considerable tone. Well, I have to find her first. Oh, I love that blue. What's that? Teal. Yes. Uh -huh. I couldn't wear a color like that. Oh, Sherry, of course you could with that gorgeous hair. Oh, you look darling. Excuse me. Coming! I'm so glad you could come. I kind of decided last minute. Hope it's okay. Laura, you know it's okay. Come on in. We're having a ball. And spending money. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi, honey. Hi. Really? It's good to see you. Hmm? Am I going to get lynched here? Don't be silly. Ooh, Cold. Yeah. Laura, would you like to go next? Oh, yeah. No. No. Yes. Oh, you've all been waiting. Sherry, you go next. Oh. How do you know I haven't already been? Wild well, guess. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to get gorgeous. Or... <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Coffee, Laura? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I love it. How about some more? Hi. Uh.
I went to see the chief once myself. Yes. Three years ago. When, uh, when Jim was involved with that girl. Laura, whatever is going on, I don't want to know. All I can say is, if you want to see the chief, you see him. You are all part of the family. And you have every right. Thank you. Now, come on back inside. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, you should see the wonderful things. for sanctuary. Okay. Who was after you? Oh, I'm serious. I think I'm in trouble. I took something I shouldn't have. Why don't you just give it back? Well, that would be the smartest thing. I don't think the person knows I have it. Okay, so you made a mistake and you can rectify it now, right? Yeah. But I don't think I should keep this to myself. Even though I'm not supposed to know. Okay, what are your options? the world or not tell the world what if you tell the world a lot of people would be hurt people close to me did you ever feel that everything in your life is suddenly in pieces on the floor You know that anything you say here is in confidence. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you that the Special Investigations Unit was spying on me and the Service Committee? Mm -hmm. Keeping files on us and on everyone else they didn't like? I remember. Today's paper says the police were doing exactly that. Where? I don't know for sure. I don't know what. Those files were supposed to have been destroyed, but they weren't. Some SIU officers have been hiding them all this time. That's the secret? I have one of those files. Just keeping some old folders. It's illegal and wrong. But is it worth ruining everything? Depends what they're doing with them. Doing? With all that information they've got on people. Oh, they're just storing. I think... I think we need some help on this. You want me to make a call? No. You said you wouldn't. I won't if you don't want me to. No. Please, don't. Just, just leave everything alone. Thank you for your help. Where are you going? Stop printing these stories about the SIU. You mean the one we ran today? It was kind of well written myself. When you say rumors that intelligence files weren't destroyed last year, you're only making things up. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, ma'am, you're not our only source. I'm not source. Uh, okay, look. Miss, uh, I, I understand how you feel. You're probably alone out there. I just want you to stop printing these stories. They're untrue and they only make things worse. 
Yes. Make what worse? For whom? How does she sound? Uh, wound up pretty tight. I got an angry call from Councilman Harding on that story. Now, what was your confirmation? Well, I talked to a political aide who said that uh, a couple of months ago, some cops showed up with some information for sale on Judge Seymour. At least they said they were cops. That's all? It's pure allegation. We should never have gone with it. We don't know if those files still exist, and if they do, why or where? We have no proof of wrongdoing by the cops. Your only source is a voice on the phone. It's a mystery woman. You better find out who she is and what she's talking about, if anything. Okay. Yeah. Some cop's wife or her girlfriend has been causing a ruckus with the chief. Probably about her man's days off. I will check it out with somebody in the department. Who have you got? I've got a little girl cop named Joyce. She's a friend. Her father died, and I sent flowers. Heart of gold. doesn't sound like Frank. Who is Frank today? Is it Jim's house watching TV? Oh, no, he wasn't. Nobody was there. Where is he now? 
I don't know. They're going after uh, De Carlo for arson. Very funny joke. Well, they say the bomb is just like his. It's time delay. It's, it's electronic devices. That his trademarks. Sherry, the biggest dope dealer in this town is Andrew De Carlo. Let's face it. The heroin that killed Kevin probably came from him. And De Carlo keeps walking. Don't you think that's been hard for Frank to live with all these months? Don't you think he'd do anything to put that man away? Nobody would believe you. I have evidence. You didn't just tell me that. I'm not telling you anything. You just shoot the breeze. Ordinary girls sitting around shooting the breeze. Okay. Say that it is true about the SIU. Why would you want to expose it? Think about it. Careers are at stake. Not to mention the prosecution of DiCarlo. And friendships. You remember the, the cop a couple of years ago who, uh, who got caught dealing drugs? He ate the gun. Cops are wacko. chat with you about the uh, Special Investigations Unit's program for monitoring of civilian groups. Why me? Uh, do you know anything about uh, the sex scandal that knocked Franklin out of the mayor's race last year, or uh, rumors of homosexuality that cost Congressman O'Connor his job? No. You uh, wouldn't have any idea where that information came from? No, why would I? Well, uh, I know that you've been calling me down to paper, Mrs. Beach. You are our mystery source. Uh, no, you've got the wrong person. Uh, look, uh, I don't want to frighten you. But you got yourself in deep with some people who play hardball. I can understand you're not wanting to go on the record. But if you cooperate, we can get you some protection. From whom? The police? Sheriff's Office, FBI, whatever it takes. Sorry, your mistake. Uh, understand this, Mr. Dietz. Uh, those files were for sale for political gain, for blackmail, for simple harassment. And they went to the highest bidder. Now, any one of us could have been the merchant. I knew you'd be getting off morning watch. I figured I'd find you here. Yeah. Sit down. Would you like something? No. no I, I just wanted to give you this. Don't ask me how I got it. You just believe it's real. Until Ramos' garage blew up, there were hundreds more. That's all that's left. See, it's got all this information. 
where I was born, where I went to school, mother's maiden name, a patrolman I once knew, Thomas Eli Palmieri. Yeah, how's old Eli? Don't you see this? It's fascinating. Subject seen entering church. Subject seen exiting church. Sounds like terrorist activity to me. Mm. Look at this, damn it! It's not for my eyes. It is. It's your department. I've been going through hell, and you haven't helped me not once. Here. You decide. You do what's right. I think the chief has already done that. The chief doesn't even know. Well, then Clifford, then, is his department. Frank and Ramos. Blaze wants me to take the children off to our place right now and keep them there. Why, what's the matter? Well, he doesn't want them in school or in the house. It is not safe. Oh, who would want to hurt them? Your name is in the paper, Laura. Everybody knows you did this. Is he okay? Does he want a divorce? You'll talk about that later. Do you hate me, too? The world isn't black and white. You just haven't learned that yet. Come on, I'll help you back their things. The district attorney will question you about the SIU. Give him your full cooperation. 
Also, we're launching our own internal investigation. Captain Rawlings will be in charge. We're going to shake things down from top to bottom here. The pride in this department has been tarnished. I want it back. Yes, is she? I've been told to tell you that there's a way out of this. They want you to testify against DiCarlo. They want you to say that while you were, um, watching Jim Ramos' garage looking for the files, you saw DiCarlo plant the bomb. They're gonna frame you. No, it's not, it's not that easy. They need your testimony. Why me? Well, you're the star witness against the department. And they figured, coming from you, the story would be credible. The jury will believe that DiCarlo was sick enough to do it for revenge. I see. If Frank and Jim get a conviction, They'd be heroes, huh? It'll clear them. That's right. They get their jobs back. They're asking you. I'm asking you to do this thing. To commit perjury. To save my husband. I can't.
missed you, too. Everything okay now? Yeah, it's fine. Why don't you go on in? I made you sandwich. Lady of Hub, she hadn't seen you in two weeks. about us. They know. Just for the record, uh, it wasn't my idea for you to testify against the Carlo. I told them not to go to you. Frank and Jim were pretty much in the soup. They wanted to take the shot. Will the arson charge against the Carlo stick? I doubt it without any corroboration. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, they'll get him. Put in my application for Tucson. Heard they had some openings. You're leaving the department? Yeah. You're out there in the street, you gotta depend on your partner. I don't know who I can trust anymore. I'm sorry. Don't be. waiting for you to choose me over them. I kept waiting for you to say just once that the family and me were more important. That's funny. I kept waiting for you to choose me instead of your damn principles just once. look pretty. Yeah. The realtor said it would help. Realtor? Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? I don't know, am I? There's a new pizza place over on Camille. Maybe we should try it sometime. Thank you. 